Ah, we are back with another one. Everyone loves to hate Tesla. We are back. Tesla bot is ahead of Boston Dynamics. I don't care what nobody says. Shout out to Future Mission. Let's give them a like. Already did. Tesla bot is officially ahead of Boston Dynamics. Let's get into it. Let's get active. Let's get started. Ever since Tesla came out with their own Tesla bot prototype, it has been constantly compared to Boston Dynamics' own Atlas, and the Atlas almost always came out as the victor of most of these comparisons. Although the Atlas's capabilities are jaw-droppingly impressive, things seem to be looking better for the Tesla bot, which is actually already the superior one. How could the Tesla bot possibly be better than Atlas, and how would- that's going to be a good question. A lot of people are going to be like, how is that possible? Of course, they look at Boston Dynamics and see that their robots are doing backflips. I mean, come on now. Let's continue. Tesla managed to maintain their lead over Boston Dynamics. Join us as we take a look at how Tesla managed to get ahead of Boston Dynamics. When Boston Dynamics initially revealed their breakthrough humanoid robot named Atlas back in 2013, the entire world was in awe. It could withstand getting kicked, hit, or even shot by a firearm while maintaining its balance levels, which all showed how stable, rugged, and durable the robot is. Five years later, the Atlas showed us how impressively it could traverse. Its movements were extremely precise and deliberate movements that were extremely fast, as it managed to run, jump, and even do basic parkour with little to no effort, completely flawless. Now, guys, when we see this from Boston Dynamics, we have to keep in mind that this is motor skills. This is the physical hardware. The hardware is amazing, right? And what it can do as far as the physical body and what it can do. As far as the uh, a robot actually able to manage itself and manage its hardware. It's a little bit psycho motor because it has the software to be able to manage its hardware. So that is good. That is tremendously groundbreaking but let's continue and see how tesla bot different or differs from that flawlessly it needed virtually no recalibration after each step or jump and this all presented how truly capable the engineers at boston dynamics actually are most of all it showed us how fast the world of robotics was evolving a couple of years later in 2021 yeah shout outs to the actual engineers also at boston dynamics let's not get that confused they have done a great job Tesla announced that they would be making their own humanoid robot called the Tesla bot. And sure enough, in a little less than a year, a semi-functional prototype was presented to the public. However, compared to the Atlas, the Tesla bot's reveal was lackluster, to say the least. Its movements were far clunkier than the ones seen. So that's how it originally looked coming off the stage. Look at that guy, man. They had to wheel him out in a wheelchair. So they were pretty far behind a year ago. Seen in the Atlas parkour video and it looked much more primitive than what was initially promised to us. Granted, the prototype shown to the public was, in Elon Musk's words, a crude, semi-functional prototype that's far from the one shown in the concept. But still, we couldn't help but feel disappointed at Tesla for their underwhelming presentation of a robot that was supposed to be the most advanced one yet. Sure, it could use tools, and it could coordinate its movements fairly well, but it still looked like it was decades behind the Atlas. What's your opinion on the Tesla bot? Is Tesla going to achieve what they've set out to do, or are they going to disappoint us once again? Be sure to tell us in the comment section down below. By the way, did you know that only 3% of you lot are subscribed to the channel? I don't know where he gets from once again. Tesla has not disappointed us at all. It is not once again. However, Tesla does have a trick up its sleeve, and the perceived drawbacks of the Tesla bot might just be its key strength against Atlas. In fact, we believe that Tesla was in front of Boston Dynamics ever since they revealed the prototype Optimus bot. If you stop... And there's a reason to that. Your guys are going to figure out that it's more psycho than actual psycho motor skills. The, it's the software. It's the brain more than it is actually the hardware. Could the Tesla bot possibly be better than Atlas? Well, the key reason for Tesla's superiority over Boston Dynamics lies in the fact that the Tesla bot is powered by an AI program, whereas the Atlas needs to be programmed by a human being so that it can move or function at all. You see, the Tesla bot's movements are slower and more deliberate compared to the Atlas, not because it's less sophisticated or optimized, but because its every movement was learned, not programmed in. The Atlas, as impressive as it is, isn't powered by AI. It's a robot whose every single move needs to be programmed and commanded. So all those videos of it... So see, that, that, that's the big difference that a lot of people are not grasping is the real world AI. And of course, Tesla has a massive amounts of lead when it comes down to real world AI, 
when you look at full self-driving. And so what this does is take the actual brain that's behind the engine, that's behind everything when it comes to full self-driving and placing it into a humanoid robot. The car is a robot, but now we have a humanoid robot and it's not on four wheels, it's on two legs and it has two arms, all right? So that's the difference between Boston Dynamics where it's programmed, it's been pre-programmed to do said backflip, to do the Macarena. But when it comes down to Tesla, it has the ability to utilize its brain and interact with the real world. And that's vastly different. That's a different set of psychomotor skills versus Boston Dynamics. To be jumping around, running, avoiding obstacles and doing parkour were in fact precisely measured by the engineers at Boston Dynamics. And all of those movements were choreographed and pre-programmed. The Atlas functions more like a conventional machine and less like a semi or fully autonomous robot that we come to imagine. At the moment, the Atlas... So Boston Dynamics is a good machine, a good robot as a machine, and you could utilize it. And even in the battlefield, Boston Dynamic robots have been utilized. Uh, one of the downside things about Boston Dynamics and how they build out robots is they're not built for the mass. They're not built for scale. So even in the creativity that's going to come from what they're doing, it still requires massive amounts of research and development to figure out how to change how they built the robot in order for them to be able to mass produce that said robot. Each robot in Boston Dynamics is extremely expensive and it's took a massive amounts of capital investment into that and tried to duplicate or attempting to duplicate that process in the mass will be very difficult to mass produce, right? To production level where you can actually produce more robots for a large order. That is extremely hard. Atlas's functionality is virtually non-existent, and it serves more as an exhibition of the technological achievements of Boston Dynamics and their efforts in making a solid and reliable robot frame and not a fully fledged robot. On the other hand- Yeah, see, it's good for a robot frame, and that's good. Once again, no one is discrediting the engineers at Boston Dynamics. They've done great. They're both different. And when people compare them, they're not quite understanding what the objective is and the differences. On the other hand, the Tesla bot, which is powered by AI software, doesn't need any specific programming for it to properly function and traverse. The reason behind its clunky movement is the fact that it's still learning how to stably walk, pick up, hold, and use certain objects. Unlike Atlas. Yeah, it's learning how to walk. It is not walking because it's been programmed which has no software that allows it to choose the optimal way to traverse or function, the Tesla bot has a solid level of autonomy that allows it to choose the most optimal way of doing a task that it was ordered to do. The AI found in the Tesla bot is none other than the one found in Tesla's vehicles. The Advanced Driver Assistance System, or ADAS for short, has been modified so that it can be used in robots. Granted, it still isn't fully operational, and the ADAS version used in Tesla vehicles has numerous technical and technological limitations, as the cars have only reached level 2 autonomy. However, which is also still a magnificent feat. I think that when a robot is moving 60 miles per hour on a highway is vastly different than a human walking, right? And so I think it's vastly more dangerous for humans to be driving or the robot to be controlling even level two. It is more complex to level two, a driving situation in the simulation versus just humans walking. It, it, give you an example. You're not allowed to get a permit until a certain age because you have to develop as a human in order to be able to drive a car. But to walk and to move in this world and do certain things, you're allowed to do even as 10 year or 13 year old. But you're not allowed to drive around this age because it is different. You need to develop. Tesla has been working passionately on updating the system and making it less situational and much more spontaneous. Their general idea for the Tesla bot is that it'll be able to completely autonomously observe, analyze, and then repeat certain actions that have been shown to it by a human. In essence, it'll be learning by model. However, Tesla has only recently started to- Learning by model, no different than how humans learn, right? You learn from your parents, you learn from your coach, you learn from your teachers, you learn from the PE, you learn from people showing you how to play dodgeball, and then you play it. You're not programmed to play dodgeball developing the Tesla bot, whereas Boston Dynamics have been working on Atlas for 10 years straight. This then begs the question, how will Tesla manage to maintain their lead over Boston Dynamics? 
Simply, Tesla will defeat Boston Dynamics by their sheer production output of the Tesla bot. The Atlas is a highly impressive robot. However, Boston Dynamics simply don't have the capacity nor the budget of producing it in mass quantities. Even if it yeah, they don't have the capacity, nor the budget, nor the IP. They have to understand how to get to production. They need to learn to understand how they could produce mass. And, and they don't understand that currently. They don't have the team, nor the track record to actually do something like that. Even if it manages to enter production, it'll most likely cost an arm and a leg, primarily because of how strong and overbuilt it is. On the other hand, the Tesla bot is going to be fairly affordable, which is due to the fact a much simpler design that doesn't incorporate an advanced hydraulic frame simply because it's not needed. The Tesla Exactly. So a lot of things are being averted in the name of being able to mass scale these robots versus not being able to. So I think also, like I said, the accomplishments of actual Boston Dynamics is great, but it's just different. They're going in different directions and yes in this argument we're saying they're ahead or he is saying they are ahead but i think that they're both ahead in two different areas and sectors and of course where tesla is going is addressing an entirely different market tesla bot will complete mundane boring and even somewhat dangerous daily tasks instead of humans it won't need to scale over fences climb trees or do any other stuff that atlas can the development costs of the ai exactly. software are also fairly low primarily because it's already well developed and it's already and, and there'll be no reason that even once kind of tesla gets their robots and it does that let's say mundane tasks or dangerous tasks and boston dynamics is still used in the battlefield right for very complex situations then still tesla will still be able to utilize that brain as a service a s a a s or infrastructure a a s and utilize that neural network to help out Boston Dynamics in their hardware, even though their hardware would be built for different purposes. He's generating a lot of profit because it's one of the key selling points of Tesla's vehicles. All in all, we do believe that Tesla can easily keep their lead over Boston Dynamics if they keep up the pace. However, there are a few issues that we need to address. Okay. First of all, we need to remember that Tesla isn't very reliable as a company these days. They've had enormous delays. The Tesla Semi was delivered after four years of constant delays, and the Cybertruck is yet to see the light of day, as the few pre-production models that have been seen in public had loads of issues. Let's well, that was pre-production, right? It's stupid to say pre-production had loads of issues. Man, the pre-production car had issues. Like, it's a pre-production car. It's supposed to have issues. Even cars that come out after production are going to have issues. There's cars that's been with us for eons and still have issues. I think that, again, most normies make a terrible assumption or a guesstimation or whatever predictions on tesla that's stupid and idiotic listen tesla's not putting out iphones if you want to take your ass down the iphone apple excuse me if you want to take your ass down to amazon and be mad that it was delayed and when it promised two days shipping and it didn't arrive in two days then that makes sense but to actually say that you're creating a miracle when it comes down to manufacturing and engineering with the cyber truck and once they deliver the cyber truck it has been reviewed and it has been certified it is an art of engineering period the technology that actually is inside that truck the rough and toughness of the truck is ridiculous and it actually fits the bill of being an actual superior truck a trucker man's truck with features that eclipse all other trucks but still it took time to deliver it's going to take time to scale it's going to take time to produce and this is a part of manufacturing not the economy that you guys are used to where i click on the button at amazon and i get it in two days where apple says they're going to drop the 16th the 18th the 19th the 20th phone with a little tweak to it like the camera or like the bezel or the charging port it's not the same as that guys so there's going to be delays and it's idiotic to think that there was not going to be any delays so i think that once tesla has delays people start to say they're liars they're fabricating information they're misleading people and it's not that it's just the development of science takes time elon musk is pretty excited He's a little bit wrong. 
when it comes down to his projections about delivering a product. But does he deliver at the end of the day? And is it one hell of a project? Yes. Yes, it is. If you could see all the failed records or all the failed projects of all your favorite artists, of all the things they were putting together and it didn't come to actually be publicized and distributed as an album, you guys don't even know the back half. That's why even Prince himself has so much information. He has so many songs and content that's never been exposed to the masses. And so you guys forget that. And that's what happens with Tesla. That's what happens with their product. But when they do deliver, they do freaking deliver. And when they do put their mind to building a new factory, they deliver even faster and more quicker. But we don't talk about that. We talk about some products or some products that get delayed in our issues with Elon Musk because he said it was going to be done. He's out here basically creating real world artificial intelligence. And we're saying, oh, he's two to three years late. Really, my G? Let's not mention the products that were promised to the people by the company, like, for example, the Tesla smartphone, only for them to be canceled and forgotten about. Oh, and don't forget about the fiasco reveal of the Tesla bot concept back in 2021. We can understand that Elon Musk... Oh, no, not two examples of a smartphone. Yeah, the company is terrible. The smartphone never came. Why? Stupid. Musk loves his controversial publicity stunts, but disguising a human as a robot was, without a doubt, his most cringeworthy move to this day. Also, as impressive as the Tesla bot is, Tesla is still extremely inexperienced in the field of robotics. It'll take quite some time before Tesla makes a properly functional robot, especially since they've set their goal of making borderline sentient robots. On the other hand, Boston... Di well, I think that everybody is having that issue. Nobody has been able to do it, and they have became or came extremely far so far. So that is a plus, not a minus, but let's continue. Dynamics have recently been bought by Hyundai, and they've had a much larger budget for the development and potential production of their robots, which could easily endanger Tesla's own potential. We'd be even- I still don't think it is. I still think they're creating two different ones, and they still don't know how to actually scale. Like, that's still a problem, right? So once people think about how it's actually going to play out and work and how that robot has been built to use all those materials and those heavy end products and hydro pumps, like it's vastly different. I think they're doing two different things. And then also I think that Boston Dynamics is still about exploration. I mean, that company has been bought and sold like a many times, but if that was Tesla, they'd be like, oh man, it, 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 they failed again. They had to be merged by someone else. Cause Elon Musk said a smartphone would come out and it didn't. Be even more thrilled if Tesla announced a collaboration with other more experienced companies. Who knows? Tesla could even acquire Boston Dynamics from Hyundai one day. Imagine Atlas that's powered by the same. Well, guys, we could say that. Uh, uh, that's a lot he's saying. Listen, guys, we we could say that it would be nice if they acquired it or if they bought it or a company that's more experienced. But OpenAI, Chat GPT, out compete Google, Google, Google. Google with all the information, with all the AI, they outcompete, outbeat, out man, Chat GPT, Open AI did a better job at that AI than Google. This is one of the reasons why Elon Musk just disconnected itself with the inception of Open AI. Also other things, but net net, he didn't really also think that it would do what it did, and it did. It created a hell of a product that has everybody raving. So it's not about oh that company is more experienced and better. It's about that team, bro. That team. And y'all ninjas ain't got the people that's on the Tesla team and on Boston Dynamics. Y'all don't have them mapped out like NFL superstars. This ain't Madden. Y'all don't know their attributes and what they're capable of. But I do know that Elon Musk is capable of assuming some dope teams, some winners. Same AI found in the Tesla bot. It'd be by far the most capable humanoid robot we've ever seen. Now that would be a sight to behold. But as Uncle Ben once said, with great power comes great responsibility. And with highly sophisticated technology comes the potential of imminent danger. As impressive as the Atlas and the Tesla bot are, there are also many concerns about their overall safety and if their developments could actually bring more harm than good to humanity. If you'd like to learn more about the
Booga, 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 booga. Here comes that normie stuff. It's going to bring more harm than good. Ooga, booga, booga, booga. It's going to bring more harm than good. I'm pretty sure Moran said that about fire, electricity, kerosene gas, like cars when they first came out. Though horses were massacred, like life bad. I was reading the Enlightenment now, and horses were way more people were being deleted by horses than got deleted by cars. Like, it was not nothing nice. People were out here doing crazy things with horses. So having horses in New York was super dangerous, more dangerous than cars. And then cars, when they came out, were super dangerous. And then over the years, we phased that out. So a lot of things are always dangerous. We us with horses were dangerous. Like, come on. All right, several points. This video does not demonstrate or provide evidence that Tesla's bot is ahead of Atlas. As the two robots have entirely different functions. Atlas has never been shot, nor was it ever intended to be. Yeah, that, I, I agree. That they're too different. Actually, Boston Dynamics robot also uses AI for computer vision. Just check what spot. The robot dog is capable. Yeah, the robot dog, but it's not real world as good as FSG. That brain, that same capacity of that brain, you know, that robot dog doesn't navigate and circumvent the, the complexities of the highway, right? <laughs> it don't do that. Even the city, it doesn't do that. So, yeah, it's far behind in that. But like I said, they're both doing great. The problem I have with this video is that it uses the Tesla bot and Atlas as fundamentally different. Atlas is a platform used for R&D, agreed, and research and, you know, research and development at Boston Dynamics. Tesla bot is supposed to be a product for consumers, right? And also industry. And they are designed to be two different things before their functions are different. Exactly. Great point that this guy made. Actually, people are making some good points. And it's all about autonomy. If the robot is given just a basic command then figures out the rest on its own, then it's truly a robot. If every, if every movement is programmed by a human, then X, Y, and Z. Okay, whatever. That's what he's saying. And Z Max says, the best test for an autonomous moving bot is the random fall. If it can recover from any position, it's good. That's one of the many things. Boston Dynamics never shot their bot with a firearm. I don't know if he knows that. I hope he knows that that never happened. Boston Dynamic bots are like soldiers. Tesla bots can barely do house chores. I don't think Boston Dynamics are like soldiers. They're nowhere close to soldiers. That's crazy. All right. Just because a piece of metal can move doesn't make a tank a soldier. Right. A tank can do that, too. Doesn't make it a soldier. All right. Now, Tesla bots are going to be in factories where Boston Dynamics bots can literally be in the field being guided by those warriors called soldiers, rookie. But this guy must have never been a soldier because he's dumb enough to say something like that. I'm tired of listening to morons. I'm tired of living it. Everyone loves to hate Tesla once again. But shout out to this video. It was a good video and articulation of Boston Dynamics. The next video I'm going to be getting into a little bit later and I'm going to publish is one about the manufacturing that went behind the cyber truck. It was a lot of engineering and how complex it was to make the cyber truck but a cyber truck is a piece of art of the united states of america innovation and shout outs to everybody else that also contributes at the other gigafactory in much love and respect to the engineers at tesla a lot of times elon musk is at the frontier and at the tip of our tongues but a lot of this is being done by great americans the great inventors, the great engineers, the people who are working in the factories and taking our factories to the next level. So it's, man, I appreciate it so much as an investor. And I also appreciate it a lot as an American and as a human. The innovation is marvelous. And going into the future, I can't wait to see more. Everyone loves to hate Tesla. Well, the Tesla bot autonomous is doing quite well for itself. Shout outs to those people at Boston Dynamics also. You're doing great and continue to do your research and development and develop the best of the best, better than all the rest, and never get one eye of rest. Shout outs to everybody. Thanks for the next one. See you on the next one of Everybody Loves.